Today, family members confirming the body found by Temple Police is missing Fort Hood soldier Elder Fernandez. Fox 44's Shaquille Amara, he joins me in the studio with the latest. Hey, Shaq. Adam, unfortunate news coming more than a week after Fernandez's disappearance. Police say they found a body hanging from a tree yesterday afternoon. Today, the family's attorney hosted a press conference in Tampa saying how furious she was with the Fort Hood base. How are we losing another soldier? It's despicable. Natalie Kawam, the attorney for the family of Fort Hood Sergeant Elder Fernandez. Outraged. We will not stop fighting for our soldiers. During a press conference, Koam confirmed 23-year-old Fernandez was found dead on Tuesday afternoon, hanging from a tree. And unfortunately, during dinner last night, I got the phone call. A call that I did not want to hear. Temple police say they received a call around 5.30, saying a body was seen along these railroad tracks west of South 4th Street. They don't know what happened. Um, whether it was suicide or whether murder. Fernandez was last seen on August 17th and was declared missing two days later. Born in the Republic of Cape Verde, West Africa, he joined the Army in 2016, becoming a nuclear specialist in the 1st Cavalry Division on Fort Hood. During his time there, families say Fernandez was a victim of abusive sexual contact. He was hospitalized for a week, then transferred to a new unit. Look what happens when you report sexual harassment at Fort Hood. You get bullied, you get hazed, you get harassed, you turn up dead. Fort Hood has confirmed Fernandez was working with an investigator before he disappeared. We demand a congressional investigation immediately. Temple police There's no forensic confirmation can be made at this time, and no foul play is suspected at this time as well. For now, live at the studio, Shaquille Omari, Fox 44 News.